We're at gotomath.com, pulling our hair out. All right. Let's go down to find the area between the curves. And uh, we're doing 5.1 for the third time. Let's see if we can shrink that picture down a little bit. Uh, okay, how about that one? That'll work. Find the area of the shaded region, round answer to three decimal places. So let's write this down. Yes, we're going to write it down. Um, what do we got going on here? We got f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 2, and g of x is equal to x plus five x plus five all right now there's a couple ways of doing this problem we can uh, find the area of this piece here and of course it'd be negative but uh, we want to make a positive and then we to find this area we could actually integrate into the curve between this x value and this x value here find the big piece and then subtract off these little slivers here Right. However, there's another way of doing this. We can integrate, uh, take this minus this function here. Yes, this function minus this function and integrate between here and just here and be done with it. We need to find the x values associated with this point and the x values associated with this point right here. Okay, so... I think we're going to do the easier one. All right, let's uh, move over. We've got everything written down. 4x squared minus 2x plus 5. Let's bring up the whiteboard. Let's go ahead and write our stuff down. We have f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 2. And g of x is equal to x plus 5, x plus 5, okay? Um, so we're going to, all right, let's 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 sketch this out actually first. Attempt to sketch it out anyway. So we have uh, the 4x squared minus 2 looks something like this. Whoa, that's off the chain. And then we got something like that, right? Okay, somewhere I paused the video, and I'm not sure exactly where, and I'm not going to do this thing over again. And uh, I thought I was actually recording, but it turned out I wasn't. I'm not about to... <laughs> it's like the third time I've done this for problem. I'm not exactly sure where we're at, where we started. I'm trying to remember. Why did I pause the video? I don't even know. Might have been we might have been shading the regions. Let's uh, this is terrible. Anyway, we uh, great. We we solved for x in here as you can see. We went through completed the square. Okay, I've done this in previous videos, so you should know how to complete the square here. We solved for x. All right. Um, as you can see. We've got uh, lower than our upper one here. All right. Man, I can't believe I paused the video and then I totally forgot to turn it back on again. Uh. So what we did was we took the upper curve, which is this guy, minus the one below it, right? That's kind of how we've been doing this. And then uh, our limits was uh, our x value here, which happened to be the 1 minus square root of 113 over 8. And then our upper, which we put uh, up here, 1 plus square root of 13, 113 over 8. And went ahead and simplified this thing down, rewrote it more of a standard form. And then from there, we went ahead and took the uh, went ahead and took the uh, integral of it and I'm gonna let you go ahead and work out what this actually is okay 
Now, like I said, I'm not sure I even mentioned this, so I don't know where I stopped on the video, but uh, you could also do this problem by finding this area here, subtracting off this little sliver and this piece here to give you the green shaded region. Now this is everything above the x-axis and uh, between that and the actual function here which is x plus 5. And then you could find the area of just this piece here and add it to what you already found up here and you should get the exact same answer. All right. However, this is a whole lot easier to do. Okay, so now what I am going to do, and remember, I'm going to pause the video, come up with this number here, let you work it out. Okay. So after about five minutes of messing with that, I got 12.51. Two, five, six, and we want to round it to three decimal. I mean, it goes out some more stuff. Is twelve point five one three. Twelve point five one three. So I'd already clicked the answer to make sure before I did anything. Anyway, so that's what we end up getting. All right. So nice problem. Check it out. Right. Don't beat me up. Okay, we're over here at go to math.com. Check you later. Bye.